Well, I think um, with audit state audits, um, so MCG, so our partnership with MCG and ASSET is we're able to run reports um, that we need to to look at various populations or, you know, how we're doing um, with our utilization management predominantly. Um, and then with NCQA, you know, you need to have a robust platform. You need to be able to demonstrate that you're using evidence-based guidelines. And so when you do have to write a denial letter, you need to be able to really quote your source and why you're making that decision so it's always you know it's really good to have solid evidence as to why you're making that um, medical necessity decision and then as I said then the providers you know how to so I'm sorry that letter goes out with the you know the specific criteria and then providers have the opportunity to have that peer-to-peer -peer discussion and so um, being able to share with them here's what the evidence says and what what do you bring you know that's different or you want us to consider about this particular member um, so it's really helpful in those dialogues